Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to discuss what is PID control. The P stands for proportional, the I stands for integral, and the D stands for derivative. So P is proportional control, PI is proportional plus integral, and PID stands for proportional plus integral and derivative. And they literally stand for that, the proportion, the integral, and the derivative of the error, which in the case of VAV boxes is how far you are away from set point. I'm going to discuss PID as it relates to VAV box control. You can find a lot of online resources that go into a lot more detail and a lot more math if you need more information. So let's start with proportional. In proportional control, the controller looks at how far away from set point you are. Proportional controls typically have a two degree reset span. So if the set point is 72 degrees, but the room temperature is 71, 50% of the heater capacity will be energized by the controls. If the room temperature dropped to 70 degrees, the controller would respond with 100% heater capacity. How much the heater is energized is proportional to how far away from set point you are. Proportional control is used by pneumatic, electric, and analog electronic control products. Let's make a little room up here. Okay, so proportional control looks something like this, where time is going this way, and your set point is this line. Over time, the controller is going to drive to meet set point, but it's going to overshoot set point because it's only looking at how far away you are from set point at any given time. So now let's move to integral control. Integral control looks at how long you've been off of set point. Integral control requires a microprocessor, so you'll only see this in digital or DDC controls. The longer you've been away from set point, the higher the controller response. So if your set point is 72 degrees and the space temperature has been 71 degrees for five minutes, maybe you get a 50% heater output. But if the space has been 71 for a long time, which may mean that the 50% heater output isn't enough to warm the space, maybe now you get 100% output because the controller is trying to increase the heat output to achieve set point. Let's get this up and out of the way. PI control would not have as large temperature swings as proportional control, and it looked like something like this over time, where it overshoots but by not nearly as much as with just proportional control. Now derivative control looks at how quickly you are approaching the set point. Again, you need to have a microprocessor, so derivative control is only available on digital controls. The derivative component is looking at the rate of change of room temperature. So again, if your set point is 72 degrees and your space is 70 degrees, but it was 68 degrees a couple minutes ago, the controller knows you're approaching set point quickly and changes the heater output so that it doesn't overshoot the set point. Okay, so let's make a little room here and draw this as well. So again, we have time going in this direction and your set point is this line. And you would see the controller bring the room to temperature without overshooting the set point at all. So let's summarize. Proportional control over time will try to control set point, but it will cause overheating and overcooling as it overshoots. It's available in pneumatic, analog, and electric controls. PI control will look like this, where it'll overshoot, but not by as much as proportional, and is only available in digital controls. And PID controls will control the system and not overshoot, and is also only available in digital controls. PID control is usually used where overshooting is not acceptable, so it's not really necessary for a VAV box application. PI control is good enough for most VAV box applications, and that's what we usually see. So that's a quick explanation of PID controls. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.